So uh, this is going to be a series of videos uh, to get you up and running for animating in Houdini and specifically the Apex tool set that we have. Now this is assuming that you already know how to animate, uh, that it's just you've never used Houdini to animate. So we're going to start the basic just with the setup right now um, to get in there for how you would start just by opening Houdini at the, for the first time. Now the first thing I do uh, is I have uh, a different setup for my desktop that I have. If you hit D, this will open up your display options. And you can see there's background. There's a few different uh, color schemes. I like dark gray. And then for the grid, I like to turn my grid off. I don't like to see the grid. And that's uh, generally what I do. Um, the other thing is once you get it all set up, you have your animation editor here if you want you can put that over but once you have that set up uh, your desktop the way you like it you can save it out and in this case I have one called Warren 2 that I'm just going to go into now so the first thing we'll do and we're going to be an object level here we're just going to hit tab and uh, just type um, G E O and you can see the geometry comes up the first one and you hit enter and you can just drop that right down and I'm just going to call this animation. Um, and what I like to do, I just have a, a few lights that I've copied from another thing just so I can have some shadows in my, um, in my setup as I work along. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is double click onto this animation. And now here we are, uh, we are now inside the object uh, level and in the geometry node. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is we're going to type uh, hit tab and type ELE and we can see something called test geometry Electra. So this is what we're going to be using uh, for our demo purposes. And this is a character that's been rigged in Apex. So we have the character here um, set up and we're going to go over a few things. The first thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to hit tab and type CIR and get a circle. And I'm just going to drop that over here. And if we look up here, we can hit P in this window and this will bring up our parameters. But I also have a, <clears throat> a tab here called circle and I could do this and I'm just going to switch it to uh, the YZ. And we, you can see we don't see it here and that's because our display is on the Electra. Uh, so if I switch the display here, now we can see the difference between what's going on. I'm just going to increase the divisions on this. Um, and we'll just leave it as default for now. So the one thing you probably want to do is you want to be able to see the difference, uh, the two things, uh, objects at the same time. So what I do for this is if you click on this, uh, this will give you a template. Um, but if you control click on it, now you can see it uh, set up there. So let's get back to our Electra. So, and I just use this so I get rid of that ground plane and I have something that now I could see uh, my shadows on there. And if you want to, uh, this would be the little button that you look at um, that you could turn off specular ambient. A lot of times I turn off specular. I just like the flat uh, kind of matte look a little bit more. Um, and then we could go from here. So from test geometry lecture, the one thing we're going to go into into our parameters is the output. And this is because it's used for different departments and everything. In our case, we're going to put on apex character. The next thing we're going to do is hit tab and we're going to uh, bring type in S C E. And you can see we have a bunch of apex uh, options here. Um, and I'm going to do a scene add character, apex scene add character, drop that down. And then before I do anything else, I'm going to hit tab again, type in S E uh, E again, and um, we're going to uh, do the scene animate. And this is where we're going to be doing all of our apex animation because this is where our apex character and the tool sets um, for animating uh, live. So when we're here, what we can do uh, right now is we just start attaching these. So if I just put plug this, uh, from this left side in into the right side, and then this orange into the orange here. Um, and you'll see this flow working uh, as we go on to more complex scenes with the other characters and other objects. So the first thing I'm gonna do is the scene add character. I'm just gonna change this. And this is just for naming. Uh, so I'm just gonna call it Electra. And if we click on here, we can see 
There's just this little script uh, in here so that it takes this name and puts it in here. But if you want, you can uh, right click on this and you can uh, delete these channels uh, from here. And then you can just type the name in uh, your set. Like uh, you can type the name in here um, instead of using the outside one. I just usually generally do this, um, but there are instances where we want to uh, change this name in here specifically. So there we go. Now this is the general setup for uh, using Apex. You have your character, you're adding the character, and then you have your scene animate that you're going to add on there. And there's two ways we can actually go into the scene animate. And I'm just gonna switch the display to uh, this. Now there's two different ways that we could do it. What we can do is we can just have our cursor in the viewport and we could hit enter. And that will go on there. And the reason that there's two is uh, they behave just slightly differently. So when I hit enter in here, it's just using um, this uh, whatever node I'm selecting on. So if I select my circle, say I want to make the circle bigger. If I select this, you can see it's actually taking me out of the animation state. Um, and now I can do the uniform scale on here and do this. But, <clears throat> and then when I click back in, I'm back in the animation state. However, when I'm animating, uh, generally I don't want to leave the animation state at all. So if I just hit escape, we'll get out of there. And now the other thing, what we could do is we can click on this little uh, uh, puppet icon here. And now when we select the circle, we can get all of the um, parameters that we need to do on here. So we could just change, uh, change the scale as we want in here, but we're still in the animation state. So this is generally the way I work. And the other way, it, uh, it has uh, properties when you're switching between things uh, quite a bit, but this way I like to just stay in my animation state and still have access to all the parameters uh, in the SOPs that we could work with. So from here, that is essentially the basic start of everything. Again, we can just go in, we go into our, we create an object, we go into there, we have our test geometry electro, we switch it to character, and we also have the shader here if you want to switch it to metallic. Uh, we'll leave it on wooden right now. We do the scene add character, and then we go into our scene animate, and then we could start animating in here, um, doing everything that we want from here. Next, we're going to start taking a look at our selection sets and how we can set up our scene uh, to begin with so that we're able to be faster, be able to use more tools and uh, have some more options as we start animating.